Welcome back heroes to some more Pokemon Alabaster version. Last episode we got the first gym badge in Tycane City, came to Belmirage Town on the way, stopped some Scrafty and Scraggy being uh, really naughty, just stopping people from actually entering the town, give them some fruit and they uh, they backed off. But something really weird was happening in this town and um, when we saw some dude that was just like complaining about it, he got kidnapped by some drowsy and hypno and then they came and took us and we just awoke right here in this room. It's nice and quiet so... Let's head upstairs and see what happens next. Ooh. Okay. Hi. Oh, good. So you're awake. How are you feeling? Eh. Being there. That look in your eyes. There's no doubt. You remember what happened, don't you? Tell me what you remember. Uh, Hypno and Drowsy took me? I think. Hmm, I see. Well, let me tell you what else happened. It wasn't just you. After those two Pokemon got to you, they went through the entire town. They took everyone, one by one, and wiped their memories from that day. If you go around town now, everyone will seem normal, but they won't remember anything about those two Pokemon. Truth be told, all of this has already happened several times over the last few weeks. Oh, okay. So the strange thing, though, is you. Why do you remember what happened? Nobody else has until now. You know, I could tell you you had been placed under a heavy hypnosis when I found you outside. You've been asleep for several days now. You're the only person who came back in that kind of state. Everyone else was awake. You know the reason why, right? They were having trouble with you. It wasn't just a fluke that you can you can still remember what happened. They couldn't wipe your memory for some reason. So they put you to sleep, hoping that you would wake up thinking that it was a dream. Well, they were wrong. I know that you're a Pokemon trainer, and a very capable one of that. I can sense a power emanating from you. It's vibrant. It's still yet to fully develop. This town has been tampered with for some reason, and as it is only you are capable of setting things straight. I know you're already looking for Elise. She's the one who can uh, send those Pokemon on Route 303 off. She has a special uh, ability that those Pokemon won't be able to stand up against. To find her, you'll have to go to Route 303 yourself. Mm, and before you go, take this. Ooh! Excellent, thank you very much. That will help you train. Give it to a Pokemon that needs strengthening. Ooh, give it to Fluffy. Trust in yourself, always walk forward, and never look back in your life journey. If ever you find yourself unsure what to do next, come and visit, or call me from any phone and I will be happy to help. Sweet. So, let's uh, go and get healed up because we're a little bit weak from, uh, from last episode. Also, I looked on Google, and everyone was basically saying, and you guys in the comments said as well, the best thing to do for Nuzleaf is just wait to level 28, you get Leaf Blade, which we've got. Then there's no reason not to evolve it. So um, we're going to evolve our Nuzleaf right now and get a nice and powerful Shiftery that should uh, should help. I'm also, after that, going to make it daytime. Actually, let's put this on first. And Leaf Stone. Get a nice and powerful Shiftery. Let's go! Dude, I have not used a shift for you in a very long time. I'm happy about it. Alright, nice. So now, let me quickly make it daytime. Actually, let's quickly uh, switch Kimiko up front. I'm gonna make it daytime and it will look a little bit nicer, so I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, it's now daytime. And we still have a shadow. <laughs> Hey, I think it's the shadow actually that comes from the um, the light here. So if we just exit, oh, well, go in, then come back out. There you go. We're looking good. So, oh, there's a little spider on my microphone. I can just see it. Uh, he's not hurting anyone. He can stay there. Right, so <laughs> let's uh, go explore a little bit and see what we can find. It's probably best to actually come back after we solve the issue with the the Hypno and Drowsy because people will probably just like say I don't remember anything and they probably feel a bit weird so once we get this sorted everything should be good but oh wow it's foggy oh okay so can't go that way <laughs> uh, can I go down here I might be able to uh, no I can't because I haven't got strength so there's going to be a set path we can go down. Got to try and avoid these uh, Hypno and... Is that not sure? Just chilling? 
What's he doing up there? Hello, Oshawa. Try and save him, man. Might be stuck up there, like how that sentry was stuck in um, the academy. Right, let's uh, go for an ember. And just burn! Alright, nice. Just keep embering. Also, I've got to say as well, a lot of people asked before, why I didn't use bug moves on Sandile? And right there. Honestly, I thought Sandile gained the part dark type in. Like, when he evolved. Not even like his first evolution, he's like second. I thought like when he was, becomes a um, Crocodile, he, be he gets the dark type in, but I guess not. And then I didn't use um, any bug type moves on the Esper back at the, the Academy Gym, because I was just, uh, yeah, I was just so hellbent on just using Ember, I wasn't thinking. I was just like, Ember everything, there you go, it, was, it will do. And honestly, didn't think. <laughs> So that's, uh, that's just wrapping that up. But yeah, Sandile, I didn't, I didn't know it gained the dark type in. Well, I didn't know, I, I thought it gained it. I didn't realize it was just always part dark. I mean, like, I've only used the Crocodile ooh, once, I think. And I've always assumed it was just ground until it gains the dark type in. Oh, is that Team Tectonic member? Stop right there. Give up your Pokemon. I'm part of Team Tectonic. You don't want to make an enemy out of us. Oh, I think I already have, my good man. I think I already have. Oh, Whisper, just... Oh, Whisper gets me so angry. I need one more Whisper in Pokemon Go. And then I can continue the Jirachi quest. Just, they just don't spawn. Like, I saw them everywhere before the, uh, the water event. And then the water event ended and it went straight to the stupid anniversary event where it's like Jolo Pokemon spinning, uh, spawning everywhere and now I just gotta wait like I'm think I'm doing a bit of a whisper anytime soon as well because I think when the Johto event ends next week I think it is or this week no yes yeah, it's, it's this week I think gen 5 starts um next week so he's gonna find a lot of um like clinks uh, pat rats Probably Lilla Pups as well. I think, no, I think I'm pretty sure it's just Pat Rat and Clink because you can get them shiny. But there's probably a lot of Gen 5 Pokemon spawning for that week and you're not going to find like normal Pokemon. So the week after that, I might be able to finally find a Wisma. I'm hoping though, because sometimes during like this community day tomorrow is uh, Turtle Week, which eh, I'm like, not too fussed about to be honest, but I'm going to make sure I just get one or two. But I'm hoping because usually the um, what I've noticed in the past is that the event kind of stops for a little bit, like the Joe event should stop and should just be like mainly spawns of Turtwig, but you might get the odd spawn of what you usually get. So I might be able to find a Whisper tomorrow, that is, that's my goal. <laughs> no, I, still, I still need a Gibble, man. Hatch so many 10k eggs and just no Gibble. But yeah, that whole uh, community thing, usually, um, like what's, what's it called, um, not Bastion, not Shieldon and Rampados. No, the Craniodos, there you go. I think in the uh, second evolution. Yeah, both of them. I only ever found them during community day days. <laughs> Don't know why. Oh, it's uh, disabled. Let's put you to sleep. And that spider's just like looking at me right now. Dude, why? He's just, he's just resting on the little like foamy bit of my microphone. He's just staring at me. Like, I don't got anything to scoop you up, mate, and put you, uh, put you away. But if you hear like a little spider, Doing spider things, and oh, it's not so much not gonna affect, is it? What am I doing? I've got nothing really to go for. That's some voice, but wake it up. So, find you have a peck. Do not disable me again. Oh my god, I'm switching. S wait, I can't switch. That's all I got. Oh, you suck. No, it doesn't. Oh, it's critical hit. I was about to say it doesn't do you know that damage, and then it was just oh critical hit. Yeah, boy. Oh, that's so annoying. Alright, let's get healed up and then we'll just keep someone to summon voice and I'll go heal. Wow, okay, we're not going to win this battle. We've got two Pokemon as well, so I'm going to cut them when we get back here and we're fully healed because we are not winning this. Alright, so when I lost and on the way back, these guys are blocking the way now. Um. Okay. I can't talk to them. I don't know what I'm doing then? 
Is the Jimmy the here? Come for uh, looking for Elise, Jim. And for Elise's Jim, you've come to the right place. Fortunately, Elise isn't around right now. She leaves often to tend to personal matters and can be gone for weeks at a time. You can try to hunt her down if you like, otherwise you'll have to wait for her to come back. I right, said to the fortune teller, because they might tell me where I need to go. Uh, yes. Listen carefully and heed my words. Will not repeat them. Hmm, I sense that you head north on Route 303. Be your guard, for you will need strength to overcome your enemies. Okay. So we need strength. But those guys are blocking the way. And did the game maybe glitch out a little bit? Maybe I already have strength. Double check. No, I def definitely don't have cut. But I don't think we can use strength unless we get the second gym badge. So I don't... No. <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. I really hope the game hasn't bugged out because I lost that battle. Oh, you want to battle now? Okay. It's all good. Level 27. Okay, it's fine. It's fine, it's fine, it's fine. If we get the burn, that thing is just destroyed. Work up. Oh, great, great. Come on, I need this burn. Let's go. Oh, and you missed the takedown. Sucks to be you. Get absolutely wrecked, boy. Okay, it's done with a lot of damage. Gotta try and finish you off now. Yes, critical hit. I think that actually mattered. I really think that crit mattered. <laughs> uh, take down. Nah, you're good, man. You're good. Can I play the piano? No. Guess not. Uh, let's see. Buy a drink and feel free. Yeah, no thanks. So I need to see if I can go back through the way we came. Oh, goodness, your persistent. What are you, part of Team Tectonic or something? No, it looks like your boys that are, like, blocking the way, man. Just need to ask if maybe you could kindly ask them to move. I think they could be Team Celestial, right? I mean, I haven't saved it, so I might be able to restart the game. Like, they're just in the way. Uh... Get foggy sometimes if you have a bike you don't have to worry about it so much since the bike path is straight if you want to travel uh on foot it can be a hassle okay uh i think the game oh that's a nice keyboard you're there i think the game might have been a little bit bugged out because uh we can't unless we can go up through this way no Yeah, I think, I think definitely the game's bugged out a little bit, so I'm going to have to quickly reset. Because I don't think those guys are supposed to be blocking the way. I'll see you guys in a sec. Alright, so we're back. I beat this guy. I also looked at my old playthrough just to check if that was supposed to happen. And those two grunts that were blocking the way, we were supposed to go, when we go back towards the town from this area, they're supposed to be there and then a, an event happens, like it triggers when we're on the other side, because we can't speak to him, the game kind of bugged out a little bit, so we can actually do anything. So, um, yeah, there's that, <laughs> in case you were wondering. So if that happens to you, just make sure you, uh, maybe don't save it, you know, before anything happens, because you don't want to get kind of bugged out and locked out of uh, the game a little bit. Probably is a fix, but I, I couldn't see one. But now we're looking, looking pretty good. Gonna leaf blade everything critical hit. Let's go. So nice. And I need to really train up La Vesta a little bit, but it's fine. She we can keep getting the XP <laughs> for now. Okay, will get so OP. Can just be my carry. Uh, can I jump down from here? Oh, I can. Nice. Got a luxury ball. Sweet. Uh, can I, I can get over there as well. Nice. You want a battle? I just got through running some errands in Barrage. I'm on my way home now, but I wouldn't mind a quick battle first. Hey, that's my boy. That's what I like to hear. Everyone's always got time for a little quick battle. Oh, the monkeys! I think they're gonna annoy. Like I, I've never really been a big fan of the monkeys, and I heard in Pokemon Go, you need the um. You know how you got the Sinnoh Stone to evolve some Pokemon? 
You're gonna need the Nova Stone to evolve the monkeys, which is just... Why? <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I wouldn't mind, like, I don't mind it. Well, I do kind of mind the Nova Stone a little bit, but I understand it. I, I could see it work for some Pokemon, like, um... Is it, it doesn't, like... To get Gigalith, you need a, uh... You need to trade it, right? That would be a good Pokemon for have a... Evolution Stone, but... Well, you know the stone. And then the same with, like, I think Escavalier and, uh, something else. Like, maybe a good Pokemon to use for the Nova Stone, but no, we're gonna just do it on the monkeys, and I think Moona as well. And then another one, I, I can't remember. Just seems very, very weird. Anyway. Right, uh, need Rock Smash to go that way. Oh, 100, that's about to say, 100% the Hypno and, uh, Drowsy are gonna get me. Alright, so they didn't spawn again. Oh, something makes them spawn. Let's. Well, she said let's go north, but we can't go north. So maybe we've just got to come up here, and then maybe on the way back down they um they spawn up. Ooh, well, has Shellos been good for the team? Like we need something to stop fire types bad. So water ground just seems kind of perfect. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna get this. Come on, be a bro. Just straight up get caught. Oh, you're the best. What do we call this dude? Uh, right. I don't know. All right, so I was looking around for something to call it. I couldn't think of anything. And the first, I thought, okay, the first pink, pink thing I see in my room, and I saw my uh, my diva mech. So I was like. I'm gonna call you Diva. Oh, no, no! <laughs> Not D-back. Okay. There you go. It's Diva. So we got the boulder here. Private property, no trespassing. So, if we head back, maybe that will trigger these guys to spawn, and it does. Well, what about Elise? Is she gone? If she's gone too long, the people in town will start to get suspicious. Hmm, well, that's all up to. Oh, oh. who is this guy? Hi. <laughs> I think he heard us. Yo, what's up? Okay, little man, you're coming with us. That, yeah, you can try. Ooh, I do like their, like, kind of, like, robes. They're like, very comfy. Alright, Sableye and Spinarak, okay. Right, we are going to Leaf Blade you. And then Peck you. Shadow Sneak, okay, it's fine. Ooh, critical hit boy, get wrecked! That's what I like to see, and Fluffy should. There you go, grow a level. And we won't kill us in one hit, but we can do some damage. Fury swipe, okay. Oh, you would hit the uh, Pokemon trying to grind up, wouldn't you? <laughs> Ooh, Battle Toy, okay, same again. We'll just uh, Leaf Blade this dude. And then we'll Peck you. Shadow Sneak, okay. Not very effective. They love to shadow sneak my shiftery for some reason. I'm just like, yo man, I'll just, I'll just keep eating that up. Why not? <laughs> and we have... Not killed the spinner egg. Ah. Right, so I'm gonna go cut and another peck and we should level 25 and all good. Just stop shadow sneaking my shiftery. It doesn't do anything. Like, oh man. Yeah, AI just, just loves that shadow sneak. Oh, better than that, okay. Uh, we'll just go thing attack and, and peck. It'll be good. Stun spore. Ah, doesn't affect me, boy. Get wrecked. Hey. And now we're level 25. Right? Hey. There we go. Oh, no, no. This isn't good. That's no, good for me. Oh man, this isn't good at all. We need backup. Uh, you wait here. Don't even think about moving. Uh, I think I'm gonna come up. Actually, I'm gonna heal up first. Okay, good. So I wanna make sure they didn't like spawn there again, just lock me in. Okay. So once you interact with the boulder up top, they spawn by the gate. So if you go to the. If you wanna go explore the little area, like go south. Defeat the trainers I did, like defeat the Tectronic Grunt. 
do not talk to anyone. You need to heal up. Do not talk to the or go to the boulder first because then they're going to spawn and lock you in if you lose. Anyway, I uh, still can't go down there because there's drowsy and hypno will stop me. So we'll go up this way. And oh, Team Celestial secret base. I need to train up this uh, this diva as well. So let's put this onto you. Okay, and Kimiko. Any more double battles? Get Kimiko and Fluffy out together. Hey, oh what? Team Tectonic? What are you doing here? This is private property. Oh, what? Okay. Does he get any damage? No, I didn't. Okay. I can go behind him. Ooh. Hey, okay. Taking the, uh, the secret entrance, I see. Wish I bought some repels, actually, to get through here, but be fine. Um, so I have to jump down. No, I don't, no, I don't. Go this way. Oh, look at that rat's head, so small. I don't know if my game's, like, bugged a little bit, but it constantly changes between, like, Gen 5 sprites and Gen 6 sprites. Ooh, find a yellow shard, nice. And it looks very funny sometimes. Alright, so that would take us over there. Ooh. Ooh, should we get a Tyrogue? Let's look at our team. We've got Bug Fire. We're going to have... Is Fairy type in this game? I'm not sure if it is. But we're going to have... Um, flying, at least. Flying Dragon. Get Mega Revolution. Potentially make it... Fairy type? I don't know. I've uh, got Grass Dark. Water ground. Uh, I, guess, I guess it could be pretty good. Then I can make the last Pokemon like an electric type. Yeah, let's let's do that. I think that'd be pretty cool. My team is looking quite nice now. Let's go for that one great ball. Come on, give me the luck. Don't break out. Yeah, boy! Now, what do I call you? I have absolutely no idea. <laughs> uh, the sprites got really small then. <laughs> Tyrogue, what to call you? Right, I'm not sure on how to do it yet, but I want to hit him on top. So I'm going to call you Beyblade. Because it kind of reminds me of Beyblade. I think. Isn't it attack over defense? And then defense over attack to get him on him on channel him on Lee and then to get him on top its defense is equal. Oh, I think we're probably gonna get him on Chan or him on Lee with this. But um, if I just get something, some vitamins to change the stats a little bit, maybe I can. Get him on top. I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get him on top. I mean, it evolves in one level, right? Let's follow Lord 20. No! I didn't mean to jump down. I want to get the item. Oh no! I didn't mean to go down again, because I have to go across that way. <laughs> it's fine. It's fine. We'll come back this way anyway, so it's all good. It's all good. All worked out in the end. I got up one like that. PG man. So the next Pokemon I want to get is going to be some kind of electric Pokemon. I don't know what, but... I mean, if we get an electric, then our team is looking, looking very good. Hey, nothing on that rock. Uh, I'm not sure if I, I, I have to dodge this guy or not, but I'm gonna save it just in case, because I want to talk to him. <sighs> you know I can't just uh, let you by now that I've seen you now. Go on, get out of here. Oh, okay, yeah. So luckily I saved it, so um, so I was gonna just get caught by him just in case something happened, but um, just get thrown out. So I'll see you guys back at, um, back where we were. Right, we're back. Just gonna wait. Turn around. Go! Oh no. Oh no. I hate this. I hate this so much. 
What? Oh, of course he turns the moment I get close to him. Oh, nah, this is... Alright, I'm going to cut to the one where we actually do it because stealthy bits just aren't my forte. Okay, so I made it there. That was stressful. <laughs> Not gonna lie, it's very stressful. Let's go into this room. Ooh, got some toilets. Nice. Just, yep, don't mind me. Just using the toilet. And I don't think there's anything in the toilets, unfortunately. So maybe we can find like a nice item or something. <laughs> Uh, can't check in here. It's a really nice bathroom though. Got some showers. Sinks, it looks really nice. Let's keep going. Okay, gotta be even more stealthy. I right, just save in case I mess up. Oh, dude, I hate this. I mean, I like it, but I hate it. Right, so I'm gonna have to wait for this dude to um, come back. I think we have to get inside that building right there. Is he going to come back or what? I feel like the moment I go for it, he's going to come. I'm just going to go for it. Or not. <gasps> okay, okay. <gasps> no! Ah, oh, no! Okay. Right, let's cut back. There's a door here. Okay, can't go in that. So I think we have to... Go in this one. Yeah. Alright. What's this book? It's a book. Would you like to read it? Yes. But the one split into three, and the three were whole. Unto the one bearer of the free unimaginable power was bestowed. And from the bearer rose many, and the many spread over the land as the river spreads over its banks after a spring storm. A hopeless terror oozed from the depths of the earth, and the many cried out for help. But their cries were not heard. But then out of many came one, and one stood against many. The three were sealed into one, and one came to be with one, and with only one. One! <laughs> well, hello there. You interested in that book? Yeah, it's pretty interesting. Because, see, it makes absolutely no sense to me. Yeah, I was gonna say I didn't really understand much of it. <laughs> I mean, I guess I kind of get some of it. Exactly, yeah, same. But, who exactly are you? Oh, an assassin? Nah, man, I'm... I'm I'm a hero. I'm just, I'm Voltsy. How's it going? Nah, you're definitely too cute for that. Aw, <laughs> so kind. You don't look the part. So, what? You're not going to say who you are? Oh wait, uh, please excuse my manners. I want to introduce myself first. I am Codename Green, admin of Team Celestial, master of trickery and deceit. I feel you ought to know my primary skill set is getting into places that I shouldn't be. Basically, I'm a spy for Team Celestial. So you can believe me when I say it is uh, no easy feat making it here without getting noticed. But maybe you came here to show off. Perhaps you came here seeking apprenticeship? Huh? You looking for an Elise? Oh. Someone's coming. You need to hide. Now. Uh, quick, under the table. Oh. Ah, here you are, Green. You haven't checked into the info centre yet. There's a job for you. What? But I just got back from Squall. You take care of it. I have other things I have to take care of. Besides, the higher-ups say that you'll you'll do it. Shoot. You guys don't have to uh, go back to town to take care of business there first. Can't afford to put that put that off any longer. Yeah, I know. You have to go to the info centre first, though. It's a pretty big crisis from what I hear. From what you hear? We're losing members. Big time. What? Are they quitting? No. No. We've sent a couple of groups on missions to Fortelli. But they just inexplicably disappeared. What? 
That's just what I've heard. It started while we were in Squall City. Sounds like the kind of stuff you would uh, expect in a horror flick if you ask me. Just sounds like a royal pain to me. And that's why I think it's gotta be you to take care of this. Look, you're not even phased. Everyone else here is scared of scared out of their wits. Well, that's just one more thing to add to my plate. I'll get around to it. <laughs> Don't blame the messenger. The last few months have been uh, hard on all of us. Yeah. Well, I'll be seeing you around, Green. Yeah, you too. Say, Green, what do you think about the plan for Squall City? Some people will get hurt this time around. I know you're normally strictly against that. I don't like it. I don't like it at all. But I agree, it's what needs to be done. At this point, we don't have a choice. I figured you'd say that much. But will you be there? We need you. I'll definitely be there. I believe in our cause. Team Celestial's cause. Above all else, I would never let you guys down. Good. That's good to hear. Uh, I assume you haven't had the chance to tell your division about the mission yet? No? Doesn't look like I'll get the chance to for a while. Can you do that for me? I've got you covered. See ya. Later. Huh. You can come out now. Yo, what's up? You know, you just overheard some pretty classified information. You know I can't just let you go now. Awkward. <laughs> if you're gonna be my apprentice, you need to work on your poker face. You never fool anyone if you wear your emotions on your sleeve. What does Team Celestial mean to you? Don't tell me you have an opinion. I know you do. Oh. Oh. You're one of the people who battle those three in Tycane City? Hmm. So not only are you sneaky, but you know how to battle as well. Interesting. Well, you ought to know that they weren't working under Team Celestial's orders. In fact, they were punished for their actions. They used Team Celestial's name irresponsibly and acted without permission from their superiors. Team Celestial can't afford to uh, fragment itself. Even the greatest empires in history were destroyed when they tried to do too much at once. That being said, you can't really blame them. They're doing what they thought was right. I think I can blame them a little bit. Say, do you know of the uh, Great Prophecy? The story of why Arceus left the region never to return again? No. Well, I guess there's no shame in not knowing. Most people don't know nowadays. Apparently, it was common knowledge as recently as two or three generations ago. But now parts of the story have been forgotten, lost forever. We do know that this land was once exclusively for Pokemon. At some point though, Arceus allowed people in on the condition that we do not disturb the natural habitat that the Pokemon live in. We could live among them, but we were not allowed to displace them. Believe it or not, for a time, people were content to live that way, in harmony with Pokemon. But eventually, someone, or some group, decided to build over the homes and habitats of Pokemon. Naturally, that resulted in a clash between Arceus and Man, it was a lengthy and ferocious battle, but in time it man won. Either that or Arceus gave up the region as a lost cause, depending on your source. Either way, after that battle, Arceus left the region and hasn't been since. Uh, but before it left, all of the prophets throughout the land were simultaneously struck with a harrowing premonition. They each and all agreed that in time, the region would come to ruin by the hand of man and its greed. And when that time does come, people will cry out to Arceus to save them. But Arceus will not answer their call. They agreed that this would come to pass, uh, that we would know the day was near when man's obtrusive reach extended from the clouds in the sky to the depths of the sea. The prophecy will come true. Team Celestial fights to see that the day does not come during our generation. Our children will not suffer for the mistake that we have made. And that's what Team Celestial stands for. To fight to save the region from itself. Naturally, I tell this to people whenever I can, but it's really important to know. Do you believe it? Do you believe the Great Prophecy? Not really. Oh, well, that's disappointing. I was going to ask you to join Team Celestial. I think you have the talent for it, but there's no way you can join if you don't believe in our cause. And I meant what I said earlier. I really can't afford to just let you go now that you uh, know what you know what you know. Well, what you here for a couple of weeks? Then you should be free to go. Although that depends on the sages. Oh, Miss, take him away. Oh snap! I think the last time I played this, I joined Team Celestial, but. I don't know, I don't think I want to join him. Okay, so now I've got taken care of, I can get back to Belmarage. But still, that guy seriously told me he was looking for a lease. How did he know that? Uh, how did he know to look at our hideout? I'm sure no one was watching me. I've never seen that guy before in Belmarage. Certainly he's a uh, gym challenger. Might be time to look for it. Might be time for a new look. Need to make sure that next time he sees me, he doesn't recognize me. What was that? Oh. 
So it's not Team Celestial taking the people. A couple hours later? Okay. Shall we try and break out of prison? Uh... Yo, boys! Wanna let me out? Uh... What do? Let me out! Let me out! I'll go crazy in here, man. We're doing laps around my bed. Oh. Hey, the Scrafty! Whoa, whoa, who let these Pokemon in here? Whatever's going on, we have to stop it. Hey, are you kidding me? Let's go, Scraggies! Hey! <laughs> no, wait! Hey, let's go, boys! Uh, guess we just run. Cheese it! Oh, God, door's locked. Uh, sup? They were so strong. There were so many. We said no chance. How do we tell a leader that? No. You can't do this. Oh, okay, see ya. How did they get out then? What? The Scraggy just like locked me in? Foltzy left to find that the hideout was in complete disarray. Everyone was running around trying to find the mischievous group of Scraggy and Scrafty. Foltzy found it impossible to continue sneaking around amid all the uh, chaos. But with a bit of luck, managed to sneak out of the hideout. Perhaps it would be a good idea to head back to Bemirage Town to regather yourself before figuring out what to do next. Hey, Right, we back. Do the Hypno and... Was it Hypno and Abra? Was it Hypno and Drowsy? I could have sworn a second ago I saw it. Hypno and Abra? Yeah, Hypno and Abra. Alright. So we're back. Uh, let... Hi. Ah, hey there, Voltsy. Sup? So where's Robin? Are you two getting along? Uh, he kind of ditched me. Oh, so you guys didn't travel together. Hmm, I'm not surprised that you wanted to go alone. Robin has his own circumstances. I think traveling with you would have uh, helped him out. But that's, but what's in the past is in the past. Anyways, I've heard rumors that there's something strange about this town. Can't get a clear answer as, as to exactly what though. And many people insist that there's nothing strange at all. So I thought it would be fun to check out this place. Do you have any idea what's going on here? Hey, look over there. Is that Cassandra and Voltsy? Oh. You're Voltsy, right? The trainer who beat Pit Pit recently. And that's the ambush badge, I knew it. Well, fancy seeing you guys again so soon. It's always a pleasure, Cassandra. Do you and Voltsy know each other? Rivals, perhaps? Yeah, something like that. Oh, great, great. I think we can make a good story out of this. How does this sound? Actually, Tom, record this. I'm feeling a flicker of inspiration right now. Gotcha, recording in three. Two, two young trainers, both fresh from Ni Najo Academy and youthful and talented beyond belief. Their names are Voltsy and Cassandra. They have taken the region by storm. Cassandra, who just turned 13, has already defeated several well-known trainers and took her first badge handily. Voltsy, who is still only 12, has also taken his first badge. In addition, he has stood up to both Team Tectonic and Team Celestial. We bring you the story, heard for the first time. Okay, cut cut. You know quite a bit about us already. <laughs> I do my research on any new trainer who has the slightest silver or talent. And you two certainly have that much. Do you mind if we record an interview of you guys? With your consent it will be shown on the hit show Renee, Renee Finds New Trainers? Uh, sure I'll go for it. Yeah, let's see why not. Ah, oh, fantastic. We'll divulge into the nature of the rivalry between you two. It probably won't be as much as you like along those lines. We only battled each other once, for example. Well, heck, why don't we have a battle between you two for the episode? Oh, I like that idea. Be great for the ratings. No, I battle Voltsy on camera. Oh, yeah, I see. As much as I would like to have a battle on our show, the loser would be uh, undermined too much. The point is to make people interested in both of you, after all. Your intelligence shines through, Cassandra. Well, now that's settled, let's start the interview. Okay. Thank you for the interview, you two. This will be a fantastic episode. Keep an eye out. He'll be on TV soon enough. Well, Judy Calls, the next trainer to find is out there somewhere. Stay strong, you two. <laughs> I feel like I'm starting to get a better grasp of what kind of trainer you are, Voltsy. If you haven't thought about it until now, you should consider how much popularity you want to have going forward. I'm sure there are advantages of being both popular and unknown. Ah, there you are. Gym leader release has returned. If you'd like to challenge the gym, the doors are open to challenging trainers. Oh, thank you. So are you going to challenge the gym now? I think I'm going to head over that way. See ya. Uh, see ya. Thinking about what she said, I, I think I'd rather be unknown, to be honest. Being unknown is always cool. Being popular can just get 
stressful. I don't know. I, I... We'll see how like the game pans out. But yeah, let's uh, go for the gym next, I think. Right, I'm ready to get my second gym badge. Like, I remember this, yep. Yeah. Oh, dude, I remember this gym being so stressful. I say stressful, like, you know, I think the gym puzzle was just super annoying. But at least you got this to... Is that someone there? Yeah. So you found me. Now if you can beat me in battle, I'll help you find a way to release. Okay. Yeah, I remember hating this gym. I think this could be... Was this the end of the beta? When I last played it? I think I got this gym done and that was it. Level 26. Okay, that's... A bit tougher than I thought. And, oh, wow. Of course I get poisoned. Power right, switch. Go into shiftery. Not sure how long this episode is as well, but... You guys usually like the longer episodes, so... Um, yeah, we'll, we'll get the gym badge done and that'll be... That'll be it. Uh, fungus. Oh, dude, I really... I'll go to Fluffy and I can peck it. Because I want to, like, just ember it, but... We'll be fine. Right, so... Peck! Didn't do as much as I thought, but... I mean, we should win this fight. I hope. I really hope once we leave the gym to heal up, the gym puzzle doesn't reset. <laughs> be so annoying if it does. Right, come on. One more peck and we'll be good. Oh no! There's one more off there. Dude, I thought I thought that peck would be it. <laughs> oh, that's so unfortunate, dude. Why you gotta be like that? Just let me, just let me kill you, man. I'm not asking for much. <laughs> right. So we are done with this. So from where I stand, there is a marker. Three paces to the right and one pace. Okay, so I'm gonna write this down. So three right and one. Up. That is assuming you are facing toward Jimmy Dorelise's arena and away from the entrance. Right, so facing that way, it's one, two, three, one. What? It's away from the entrance, facing. Unless it means from here. One, two, three, one. I don't know. Oh, does it mark every time you fall down? Because if so, that's actually kind of good. Oh, what? Uh, from where I stand, there is a marker three paces to the Wait, from where he stands? So it'll be one, two. There you go. Okay. I was gonna say from, I, I went free and then I was like, that's not it. But it's from where he stands, I got it. Glad I read that again. Oh, we are so weak, but if we switch out and beat him, we get to level 26, which will be nice. Not even sure what Type of gym. I oh, know the gym just use random Pokemon, don't they? Keep forgetting that. <laughs> Alright, let's go to Fate Attack. Oh, critical hit! Let's go, boy! That's really nice. Uh, burn me, okay. Just keep Fate Attacking. If we get no crit. Ah! That's gonna hurt a lot. Ouch! That hurt a tremendous amount. I probably should go heal up. Oh, so we can get another marker and then, um, yeah. Let's probably switch out for that. Uh, let's go Luffy. And we can spam pecs and maybe we'll be alright. Right, peck. Just gonna some 
Oh, leaf strike. Ah. I need to know if this um, this game has the gen. I think it was Gen 7 Leech Life. Because Leech, Leech Life used to be just trash. Terrible move. I think it was Gen 7, it got like a major buff. Need to uh. Need to check that out, man. Because if it has got the major buff in this game, we should probably start using it a bit more. Hey, level 20, let's go, boy. Right, so before I stand, there is a marker four paces down and one to the right. So it'd be one, two, three. I think that's fine. Just trying to, uh, just trying to get around. If we can just like beat all the trainers and then we can heal up and come back, we'll be fine. Alright. Ah, oh, we're probably dead. <gasps> no, you're soundproof! That sucks. We are so dead now. <laughs> oh, it's fine. It's fine. Not the worst thing in the world. We can just go shifter and leaf blade. Should be able to take it out. Charge beam. That's fine. I think we can live that. Yeah, boy. Did like what? Seven damage? Not bad at all. Has this um? Has this uh? Oh god, she Shellos even leveled up once? There you go. Answer my question. Yeah, we got level eighteen, didn't we? So it's going three levels. Okay, so from where I stand, the mode does mark her two steps down and two to the right. So one, one, one. So, came here from the ninja village to further my training. Not only can I master stealth at this gym, but also combat. All right, good to know. This gym isn't as bad as I remember. Maybe it was the leader that gave me trouble. I could have sworn, I, I, maybe it's not this game. I could have sworn there was a game I played at one point where there was a gym and the puzzle was ridiculously hard. And then the gym leader was again ridiculously hard. But this puzzle is not bad at all. Unless it's maybe changed, I don't know, but... Oh, hurricane. Oh, rock you like a hurricane. Maybe we should keep draining growth, I don't know. Uh, we've got the TM for us, if we want it back, we can get it back, but... Hurricane will do for now. Uh, Turtwig, ooh! Gonna be capturing many of you tomorrow. Get that shiny, man. Well, only care for three. Well, one shiny Turtwig, Grotto, and then Torterra, then I'm done. Like, I've stopped trying to go for, like, as many shinies as possible in it. Oh god, what did you say? Uh, one pace to the... From where I stand, there's one... Okay, yeah. So it's this one. We somehow glitched it and got it. Um, yeah, I stopped trying to go for as many shinies as possible, because just... I've got all these shinies that I never... Never use. I got, like, ten shiny chikoritas that just sit there doing nothing. Just that look pretty, so... I kind of don't really care too much, like I want to get a shiny one just to have it, like one of each evolution, then I'm good. Like I got, sh I got three shiny mud kips, got three shiny slack, uh, slack offs, and you know, got what I needed, and then I just stopped. Just a bit worried for uh, November's um, community day, because you know that's going to be Chimchar, and I think it's the community day is the same day as the Sword and Shield releases, or the weekend, so that's going to be fun to try and do. But I stand there as a marker, three steps to the left and one up, so one, one. Cool. It's funny to watch people like you struggle through this room. Are you struggling? Isn't it demoralizing? You look like I'm, I'm actually having a quite a good time, to be honest. <laughs> I think it's fairly good. So whatever, man. Whatever. Fury swipes ahead, you miss. Ah, oh, sucks to be you, boy! Let's go. Uh, coffin, okay. Let's go, Leaf Blade. Probably gonna faint attack a bit more then. Oh no, I'm dead. It's fine, it's fine. 
it's not fun, we're gonna probably lose this, but Diva, if you can just, if you can win this fight. Let's go for Water Pulse. I thought about Rain Dance first, but I'm glad I didn't because I would just probably Rain Dance and then just ended it, and I was really hoping for the confusion then, but this is us dead. Oh, Tyrogue, it's up to you, boy. Let's go, Beyblade. Uh, fake out. Okay, come on, dude. You got this. You can probably take one sludge. Give me a crit. You can't even take one sludge. Oh, that sucks. All right, we'll be back here and we'll destroy this dude. All right, so we beat this kid now, so I would have won in a fair fight. Dude, that was a fair fight. So, uh, four. One, two, three, four. Five. Wait, from where he stands, so it's here. Yeah. What? Okay. So, back we go. And we go down. Cross. Great, so we... Get here, so we go cross. Got two ways, or two people to fight. Uh, tell me. Are your Pokemon so strong they can defeat a mirror copy of themselves? Let me guess, you need a Ditto? Yeah, boy! So happy for that. Just want to lower your special attack. So you don't do too much to me. And it's fine, then we'll go for Ambush. So I should do neutral damage compared to any bug move. Turning shot, okay, lower my speed, that's fine. It's the Emboff. Who can Ember harder? Okay, though my special attack is kind of annoying, but it's fine. Because that's not an issue off quite yet. <gasps> Bro! Oh, that's not cool. I had that battle in the bag, and that Leech Life just does that much damage? Like, what? Let's go with the buffed up Leech, Leaf, uh, Leech Life. From like Gen six or seven, forget when, forget when they um they buffed it, but dude, actually kind of annoying. <laughs> I had that battle in the bag, man. Oh, you suck. Anyway, hey, level twenty three, sweet. Another Ditto, great. Um, go try to take you out like right away. I think a Leaf Blade could do a lot of damage to this dude. Level 30, ooh, snap. So a Leaf Blade only transforms into a Hurricane finish him off. Oh, maybe not. Critical hit, let's go. That's what I wanted and I got it in. Oh, okay, are we locked to level 32? Yeah, 32 is the um, it's the max level until we get a second gym badge, I'm guessing then. Wait, what do you say? Uh, From where I stand, there's one marker... One step down and four steps to the right. One, two, three. Okay. What? Ah, no. If I can get to the other guy straight away. But I can't. Right, I'm gonna quickly go heal up then. So 32 is the max. We should try and... Well, it doesn't... I say it's gonna be the max, but we're about to get another gym badge. So, um... Not gonna be the max no more, but we probably should try and get everyone level 32 for next episode. Not sure how long that's gonna take, but we can give it a go. And then once we get the gym badge, we'll go just talk to everyone again and just see if anything. Oh, dude. Just trying to remember where to go now. <laughs> oh, God. Okay, right. So we got like this. And then down. Okay, yeah, there you go. So I spent my whole life perfecting the art of concealment. That's, that's great for you, dude, good. <laughs> Always been going well. Right, so we are gonna go for Ember. I think what type you are, are you bug poison or are you actually grass? You might be grass poison. I think you're 
grass. Either way, leech life doing work. Yeah, this is the new leech life. I say new, it's not new anymore, is it? It's like, what, three years old? It's still new to me. I'm, I'm so used to the, the terrible leech life the past, like, 15, 16 years of playing. I still just, like, instinct is just terrible move. Don't use it. <laughs> but it's actually pretty good. And we can stay full health as well. Sweet. Right, which way now? Uh, from where I stand is a marker, two paces to the right. So, one, two, and then one up. Oh, dude, come on. Ah, <sighs> Which way do I need to go? Maybe left, because we've barely gone left? This is the hard bit, because you don't know where to go. Oh, there you go. There's so many trainers in this gym. Oh my goodness. There's so many. Oh, this big. I probably would have done the gym next episode. <laughs> I'm being honest. Uh, let's see. We can water pulse this. Should have beat it. I don't think it can pulse too much on it. There's one way. Right? Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I mean, you're not just a Bonsley. You're scarier. Yeah? <laughs> That's what you are. That's fine. Come on, water pulse, please finish it off. Hey, that's good. Hey, and we grow a little as well. Awesome. Uh, Masquerine. Let's switch into Shiftery. I always forget this typing. Is it? So that's gets bug water, isn't it? Does this thing go bug flying? Let's keep bug water. I don't know. I'm gonna go hurricane. I think it's still bug. I feel like it would stay bug water. I'm gonna check, man. Uh, good old Google. Pokemon Masquerade. According to Pokemon Database, Masquerade, number 283, Surskin, number 285, Shroomish. Masquerade is a bug flying type Pokemon introduced in Generation 3. Yeah, bug flying. Okay. You can stop now. Thanks. <laughs> right, so almost there, keep it up. Before I stand, there was a marker one step down and six steps to the left. So it'll be one step down. So where he stands is one, two, three, four, five, six. Sup. You're getting very sleepy. A little bit, to be honest. This gym's so long. I just want to get to the gym leader now and destroy her. Uh, probably can't win this fight, so let's switch. What's our ability? Ah. That's uh, super shiftery. I could have sworn, like, um, Shellos can learn. Is it Storm Green? Like, it's really like Water Absorb or something like that. But I guess I was wrong. Leaf Blade! Kill it! Kill everything! This shift is gonna be too good, man. Poliwag? Oh, cool, 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 cool. Just keep bringing the Poliwags out. Oh, I'm just gonna keep uh, Leaf Blade in. So, I'm fine. <laughs> and another Poliwag? Great. Leaf Blade! It was too easy, dude. Right, so most people who make it here are too strong to beat. Anyway, from where I stand, there is a marker two steps to the left and three up. So one, one, two, three. Cool. Whew. And look, it's she's green. Well, Elise is good. Green is Elise. Great disguise, by the way. Welcome, Challenger. Welcome. I'm glad to see that you've made it all the way here. I'm Elise, the leader of this gym. What 
do you mean we need to talk? I'm trying to say I don't have time for idle chatter right now. And anyway, surely this isn't the place even if I did. I'm trying to run a show after all. Even if the audience is somewhat lacking this time around. I'll tell you what, if you can beat me, I'll lend you a minute. I'll even give you an autograph if that's what you want. Oh yeah, 100%. What do you say? Shall we begin? So this will be a singles battle. Okay. Like last time. Can't use items. Just text goes by itself. Battle continue until one of the battlers no longer has... Okay. If both the battlers are ready. Begin! Right. Let's do this. I do like her outfit. Kind of cool. Anyway. Ditto. Oh man. Right. Maybe we can get the burn. It did not... Oh, it's a Zorok! Oh, snap! Okay! Awesome. Did not expect that. Uh, she's level 32! Oh, this is bad for us. Oh my god, okay. Uh, we're gonna get wrecked. So I need to keep Shifter alive for that pseudo Wudo. If I lead off with Kimiko again, I go for Leech Life. Like the next time we battle her, we're gonna do much better. But we're gonna die off flinch here. Do we need to do some grinding? We, we can't win this battle, but at least I know I got a bit of a strategy next time. No, we missed. Great. <laughs> oh, you missed as well. There's no point even going for Sing because like just delays the inevitable, you know. We've got the flinch. Can you imagine if we got like? Oh, now you've got Quick Claw in mind. So you can just get the flinches, like, every single attack's a flinch and we end up beating it. That'd be insane. But, yeah, I'm gonna go do some grinding. And then when we're back, we are gonna destroy her and, um, her team. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, we're back. I've done a bit of grinding and I think I am now ready to destroy Elise. We'll see. So we know that Zorox, so we're gonna have a leech life. Okay, that's fine. Give me that sweet, sweet HP back, boy. And if you have that again, I can live it. So we should be able to take this uh, Zorark out. Are you turning out? Okay. Not what I was hoping for, but it's fine. Pseudo Wudo. It's kind of annoying, but it's fine. It's fine. Again, don't mind. Because we are going to get... Uh... Right, Tyrogues. I put XP share on Tyrogue for this gym, but he's kind of useless, so just using his death body to get the free switch, which is fine. So we can use D.Va. We can easily Leaf Blade the Pseudo Water, but I want D.Va to get some XP. So we're going to go for a Water Pulse. Oh, I swear to God, if you uh, flinch me. Good. Can't confuse it, confuse it, confuse it. No confusion, what? Oh, that, that'll do. That's fine. It's all good. Hey. Hey, let's go. Two levels. That's what I like to see. Kecleon. Kecleon could be probably a bit of trouble. So I'm going to try and put him to sleep. So we only got Ditto. So it's Ditto, Kecleon, and uh, a weak Zorark. So we are going to be fine. I hope. Right, so now we've put you to sleep. We will now go Shiftery, Leaf Blader. You'll turn Grass and we'll go Hurricane, finish you off if we need to. Wait, no. You'll change type because you've got Protein, okay. So now you're Ghost type, that's fine. Because if we outspeed your next turn, then um, I think attack will be super effective. Let's go. Alright, nice. Hey, Fluffy26, uh, no thanks. Ah, is this the actual Ditto as a Sorok? I mean, we'll see with the HP, but I'm gonna go Kimiko just in case. So it's Sorok again. Great. Leech Life. It's fine. See ya. Get wrecked, boy! Can you imagine how OP it would be if, um, Zorark's ability also illusioned the HP bar as well. So I couldn't tell if that was the weak Zorark or Ditto. 
I think that'd be such a great buff to Zorark. Don't you think? Because then I probably would have gone for maybe Ember. Thinking that Ditto is going to probably, you know, try to get the burn on Ditto like I did first battle, but... Yeah. Oh, we're dead. It's fine. It's all good. It's all good. I ain't worried. Why are you guys worried? Shouldn't be worried. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. As long as it doesn't burn me, we're good. I mean, oh, dude, I cannot wait till Fluffy learns better... Just better flying moves. Or even evolves. Just... Goblu too weak right now. Like, Leech Life is just going to keep getting HP back. I need to put you to sleep. And, oh, you got the burn. Of course you did. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. Right, for that, I want to get keep Fluffy alive to get the XP. So I'm going to go into Shiftery. We can go for a Hurricane. Job done. We win. Don't wake up, because a bug move would probably kill me in one hit. Let's be real. Nice. There you go. Jimmy would have got absolutely wrecked. What great strength and awareness. You saw right through all my tricks. Yeah, I did. And our diva's evolving! I'm going from little baby diva to the big mech. Even a little guy, doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, boy. That cry was horrible. It's just like you had that little the slug noise that you were moving. But the winner was Challenger Voxie. You skillfully overcame everything that I could throw at you. I've been uh, thoroughly beaten. I present to you the illusion badge. Please, take it. My question is, where did you get that Zora from? Because... I mean, I know I was having an electric type for the team, but I, I wouldn't mind a Zora, I'm just saying. <laughs> Actually, I shouldn't because, spoiler alert, my starter's going to be a Zora in the next playthrough. <laughs> well, next series on the channel. Which is on Monday, I think. <laughs> anyway, let's not talk here. I haven't been to the Belmarage restaurant in a quick minute. Care to come with? Sure. So, have we met before? I can't shake the feeling that I know you. Oh, she's playing dumb. So, Pitt said that... Huh? And Team Tectonic has been running around as well. I have to be on my guard then. What's really troublesome though is that you say these two Pokemon have a... These... Yeah, these two Pokemon have abducted this town and are closing off uh, travel on Route 303. That's just not something that Pokemon do. There has to be someone behind it. Oh! She doesn't remember us because of the um, Abra and Hypno. Which they would have wiped her memory. So that day when she asked us to join... She doesn't know that we know that she's part of Team Celestial. Oh, snap. Aha. It wouldn't be Team Tectonic, though. They always, uh, they're always they always straightforward about their mo well, motives. And it's always about uh, monetary gains. Team Celestial won't do this either. Well, thinking about it, won't get us uh, far fast. We'll just go go out and find these Pokemon. Need to take care of some things real fast? Head over to Route 303 and I'll meet you there as soon as I can. Oh, snap. That's great. Okay, cool. So, I am going to end this part right here. Next episode, we're going to go to Route 303 again and uh, try and put a stop to these uh, Pokemon. So, you guys watching, I'll catch you guys next time. Have a great day. Peace.